It's the fourth time he's come back to the store in the parking lot harassing his ex-girlfriend. This is going to just simplify things for our officers. Things are changing for Dallas police officers and their dispatchers. 10-4. Out with those old-fashioned 10 codes and police speak. Frank Morris, Sam 625, stand by. And in with simple, plain English. The cutting shows to be at the intersection of the Moonlight store. Second passerby called, reported an assault. Dallas just began using plain English this week, and it will take some getting used to. You know, officers generally do not like change. You know, we like things a certain way because we've been taught a certain way. And so this is a little different. Uh, I don't think it's going to take too much time, but it is going to take, there is going to be a little, some learning curve there. The change is being made largely so that when officers from different departments are working the same call, they'll understand each other on the radio. Agencies have a lot of varying different codes that mean different things and it's foreign to each other. So this makes it um, easier for us to communicate and be on the same channel. Still, there will be some calls that are not broadcast in plain English, especially if hearing the call could scare the public unnecessarily. We will be a little more discreet about that, and maybe still use a code, or we have computers now that we can send messages on, and so we'll use that approach to those kinds of calls. But most, like this bank robbery, will be called just that. The uh, signal for that would be a, a 4120, a 20 being a robbery, and a 41 means it's in progress. So instead we would say robbery in progress, and we would add at the bank at whatever the location is. While Dallas is one of the largest departments so far to make the switch, hundreds of other departments across the country have already done so. The move was encouraged after 9-11 when many of the responding officers had trouble communicating in New York and Washington. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Dallas.